Judgment in the appeal, the Queen on the application of Rotherham Borough Council and others, and the Secretary of State for Business, Innovation and Skills. Lord Sumption will give the judgment of the court. The question at issue on this appeal is how structural funds derived from the budget of the European Union should be distributed between the different parts of the United Kingdom. European structural funds exist to promote the harmonious development of the Union and in particular to reduce economic disparities between regions. Money is committed to the structural fund budget for successive periods of seven years. The money is distributed in the first instance by the EU Commission to member states and then by member states to their own regions. The whole process is governed by an EU regulation. This case is about the current seven-year period, which runs from 2014 to 2020, and is governed by a regulation made in 2013. The distribution of funds among the 37 regions of the United Kingdom is the responsibility of the Secretary of State for Business, Innovation and Skills. Two regions, Merseyside and South Yorkshire, have brought judicial review proceedings against him on the grounds that they have not received a fair share of the structural funds allocated to the United Kingdom. To explain their complaint, it is necessary briefly to summarise the somewhat technical background. Um, European regions are divided into three categories. Convergence regions, the least prosperous. Competitiveness regions, the most prosperous. And an intermediate category known as transition regions. Before 2007, Mersey and South Yorkshire uh, were regions in the least prosperous category, receiving the largest level of EU funding support. Uh, since 2007, they have moved into a, a higher funding category, but are still among the poorer regions of the United Kingdom. Currently, Merseyside and South Yorkshire, along uh, with nine other regions, are transition regions. Under the regulation, there are separate amounts allocated to the United Kingdom for each of the three categories of region. Otherwise, however, the reg regulation does not lay down any specific formula to govern how the Secretary of State is to divide the funds between the different regions in the same category. Instead, it lays down a number of broadly defined economic and social objectives which are to guide him in his distribution. These objectives are not confined to directly improving the gross domestic product per head of the worst off regions. They concentrate on supporting economic development in the broadest sense, on the footing that in the long term this can be expected to cause the best off and worst off regions to converge. In other words, uh, EU structural funds are not a simple standard of living subsidy. They are part of a program of economic restructuring. The regulation requires the Secretary of State's allocations within the United Kingdom to be incorporated in a draft partnership agreement between the United Kingdom and the European Union. This is, is submitted to the Commission, and if they approve it, the partnership agreement comes into effect as an instrument of the Union. Since the hearing of this appeal, it has been approved by the Commission, although on the basis that they will reconsider that decision in the event that the present judicial review proceedings succeed. The Secretary of State made his decisions in two stages. At the first stage, he decided that since the total allocation to the United Kingdom for the current period was 95% of what it had been in the previous period, he would allocate to each of the four countries comprising the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, 95% of what they had previously received. He then decided to allocate to each of the English transition regions 115.7% of what they had received in the, previous, uh, in the last year of the previous funding period. The calculation of the new allocations was based on the allocations for the previous funding period, because the latter had been based on a complex assessment of funding needs based on a number of economic and social criteria carried out in 2006. The Secretary of State considered that there had been no significant change in the economic and social geography of the United Kingdom since that exercise had been carried out. Merseyside and South Yorkshire object to these decisions essentially for two reasons. 
Uh, their first reason is that unlike, the English, uh, unlike other English transition regions, they had received extra funding in the pre previous period to reflect the fact that they had recently moved out of the lowest category of development. This extra funding had been reduced year by year over the previous period until it tapered down to zero in 2011. The choice of the year 2013 as the baseline therefore meant that the new allocations were based on the year in the previous period when Merseyside and South Yorkshire had received the smallest amount of EU funding. They argued that it would have been fairer to base the new allocations on the average amounts received over the whole of the previous period, which would also have been more closely comparable uh, to the way uh, that other English transition regions had been treated. Their second complaint is that the Secretary of State's initial decision um, about distribution between the four countries of the United Kingdom meant that they had a much smaller allocation per head in the current period than Highlands and Islands, which was the only Scottish transition region. They say that the end result of all this has been to leave them with smaller allocations than other transition regions with a higher gross domestic product per head and lesser needs than theirs. These complaints were rejected by the High Court and the Court of Appeal. The Supreme Court, by a majority of four to three, also rejects them. The majority's reasons are contained in judgments written by myself and by Lord Newberger. Uh, the courts unquestionably have jurisdiction to overturn the Secretary of State's decisions on the distribution of EU structural funds if they are contrary to the EU regulation or are otherwise unlawful according to ordinary principles of English public law. They are, however, the kind of decisions which the courts have generally been reluctant to interfere with unless a strong case is made out. This is because they concern the allocation of scarce resources on grounds which call for sensitive political, social, and economic judgments. On such issues, the ministers must be allowed a wide margin of judgment on the basis that they will be responsible politically. This is especially the case on the present appeals, since the distribution criteria in the regulation are extremely broad and much depends on the weight given to each of them. In this area, there cannot be a single right answer. Turning to the particular complaints of Merseyside and South Yorkshire, the court considers uh, that the Secretary of State was entitled at the first stage of his decision-making process to have regard to the constitutional settlement within the United Kingdom and to share the funds pro rata to their allocations for the previous period among the four countries of the United Kingdom whose devolved administrations would be responsible for administering them. As to the choice of 2013 as the base year for calculating the new allocations, this was in the court's view a defensible decision because the extra funds which Merseyside and South Yorkshire had received in the earlier part of the previous period had only been made available under the terms of the previous regulation on a temporary and transitional basis. Merseyside and South Yorkshire could not therefore reasonably expect their effect to be extended into the new funding period by basing the new allocations upon them. Uh, the appeals of the two regions will accordingly be dismissed.